Okay, uh, this is uh, lesson two, and uh, we're going to look at track mats and nesting. Um, so let's see, we, on the last one, we uh, we made this blue water text. So this was our text one, and now I'm going to create a new composition. So up here for our text two, I'm going to name it text two. <clears throat> I'm going to have it uh, last probably five seconds. White background, uh, that size looks okay. And we'll hit OK. And so now we have our text too. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is create a background. So under our animation presets, under effects and presets, under animation presets, there's a background. So let's open up the backgrounds. And down here, there's a rose light. So something, uh, I was going to have it have it kind of some different colors, uh, red and green. I'm going to make my text green. I'm going to go ahead and type my text in here. <clears throat> I'm going to call it Ugly Bugs. And uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry. And try it fit fit the screen in here. Maybe I'll try to change it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll make this one a little bit bigger. I'll stretch it out. Let's see how what that does. Maybe squeeze this one. Uh, and I'm going to give a little bit of um, oh. I need to go up the second one see with the letting between let's see how that let's see if that fits. I'm going to try to stretch it to where it fits. I'm just going to stretch it to kind of fit. Because I know I want, there's a bug. So I'm trying to get a lot of the, the text that will fill up the space. I'm going to have, because I want basically my background, I'm going to have a green background. And I'm going to put a bug inside of it and have it run around inside of the text. So this text is going to ask, act as a mat. And it's going to be a, a, a track mat. And we're going to use nesting to do that. So we're going to create a background now that will go behind or that, that will act as the mat for this. So I'm going to uh, come down here and, oh, you know, I'm sorry. We go under composition, new composition, and we'll call this one. Um, let's see, we'll call it background for text. Okay. And now I want to find a background that will fit there. So under my animation presets, under backgrounds, which I already have up, I'm going to look for, let's see, I want this ugly thing, germs, kind of nasty. You can look at it, it's kind of, kind of scary looking. I'm going to color it up a little, make it a little prettier. Um, go under, make sure this is selected. I'm going to hit return on this as I select it, just so I can rename it. I'm going to call that... Um, background for BG for background um, I call it germs so I remember what it is and let's see we'll go so now we want to add an effect so I'm gonna make sure that's selected go under effect and let's see color correction 
and hue saturation. And I'm just going to turn the master hue wheel a little bit over, a little bit to the right. You can see it kind of green, makes it a little more green, a little more of a prettier green. I'm going to knock the saturation just a little bit, make it a little bit greener. I think that looks good. And I'm going to X out of this effect control right here. I'm going to close it up here. And now I'm going to, I'm going to double click in here and that will lead me to my folder that I'm already working in. So in my assets, you know, I'm going to select the bug, bug video. <clears throat> so now I'm going to add the bug video and I'm going to add it into the, into my composition here. And as you can see, if you scroll through it, it's got this ugly looking cockroach floating around here. And so what I want this to do is I want this roach to show up with this background. So I gotta, I'm going to need a, to make a mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bug video. I'm going to hit Command D, which is also Edit, Duplicate. And I'm just going to hit Return on the name. And I'm going to name it because this is going to be my mat. So I'm going to call it Mat bug video. So what I'm going to do with the mat is the white's going to get knocked out, but I'm going to need the black um, in order to allow the bug um, to show through. So let's go ahead and add an effect to this layer. And what we're going to do is so we're going to go back under effect, make sure your this this one is showing, our mat is showing, and we'll go under effect, and once again, color correction, and I believe it is auto levels. Yes, okay. So, and under the black clip, I'm gonna turn a little bit to the right, ooh. Very pixely. So as you can kinda see, it, it turns black, Unfortunately, there's a little bit of red areas, but if I, it doesn't seem to want to go all the way black. So we'll we'll see how that looks. Okay, so now we have our our mat. Okay, now you can see what this does. Because <clears throat> what we're going to do is now on our bug video, the, the layer below it. <clears throat> if, if we if we turn our eyeball off, you can see up here. <clears throat> The mat and, and there's the color bug underneath <clears throat> but I want to go under my bug video and this is where I'm going to use the track mat um, if you're seeing this um, group of modes you need to do the toggle switch which is down here at the bottom and you should see modes and the second one here is track mat so this is what we're going to be using is we're gonna, using the track mat and we're gonna go from none and let's try the alpha mat, and that was wrong. So let's try the bottom one, which is Luma inverted. That's the one we wanted. And you can see it's still showing up a lot of white under here. So I'm going to select my matte bug video layer again, <clears throat> so that way you can kind of see that white around it. And this comes back up. See if if you if you select the the one below. Our, our, uh, our effect is not showing. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to this black clip where I raised it. I'm just going to knock it down a little bit so a lot of that white doesn't show up. So there it looks a little bit better. Okay, and also to notice um, on the mat, you'll notice that this eye does disappear automatically once you, you uh, turn the mat on. When you, when we selected the Luma inverted mat, that eyeball disappeared. And sometimes you might have to re-turn it on and off if you're kind of turning them off, if you turn these off and on manually. So if we kind of scroll through here, we can kind of see our, our bug kind of traveling through. So that is what we want. Okay, so now we have 
<clears throat> our background for our text. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my text two, and I'm gonna X out of this effect. So now I want to go. And I'm gonna drag this background for text, which we just made this composition, and I'm gonna put it inside my text two composition. And I'm putting it underneath the text. So when you have a composition, which is our text two, and we have a, another um, composition within that, and that is what, what they call nesting. And we're going to use this background for text composition. This is also going to be a track mat. And we're going to use this, which is going to act as a mat or a mask that goes underneath this text. So let's go ahead and try the the, uh, the mats. So let's try our first one, alpha mat. And the way alpha mats work is basically it's the one above it is is what it affects. So we're 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 changing it here, but it it's affecting the top one. As you can see, that top one. So we're using the text. <clears throat> And then our background is what's is being masked from that text. So now you can see it. So now we can see that the germ background with the bug. It's and now it's with all within our text. And I don't know if I can preview this to see, see if it'll work. Oh, it. I think my my RAM's not working too good, so you can't can't get a good preview. Although, let's see, let me see if I can. Show it on my on my preview here. So this is basically what we're doing. Here, we'll take it. We'll, we'll do a preview of what we're doing. So you see the bug goes within the mat. Okay. All right, now, so now we have that all working. So now the only thing I was going to add is maybe another, uh, let's add another um, animation preset. So let's go under our animation presets and we'll go text. And I found something under organic, which I found um, in the blog, uh, which I turned off, sorry. I think I talked about the, the blog that, that I used to, to find um, and I wanted to use uh, let's see there, I found one that was, what was it called? Oh yeah, insect. Yeah, insect for our insects. Oh, I thought there was a different one. Oh, insect white. Just got different ones. I forgot what each. One. I forgot that there was two of them. Oh, and you know what? You can't drag it on this layer, so I'm gonna have to actually drag it. I can't drag it over here for some reason. It doesn't want to let me do it. So I'm gonna drag it down here onto the layer down here, and then then it should work. So it just kind of pops pops it on. And let's, let's, I'm going to hit the U on the layer. And I'm going to drag this to the very beginning. Therefore, the letters pop on. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to, I'm going to combine our bugs, our text two with our text one and make it um, one composition.